So I'm having an issue with this JVC broadcast monitor. Um, it's a BMH2000PN-K. Um, it's been working flawlessly. Um, I've had no warnings that the picture is failing or anything like that, but I um, haven't used it for about four days. I went to use it yesterday and um, I could hear the um, console game connected up to it, but I was getting no picture at all. Um, so basically, if we turn it on, as you, as you all know, older CRTs take a while for a picture to dis display once you've turned it on. But this one usually takes about five seconds. But usually, if we turn the uh, push them to change the video, usually up top right left here. It would say what video channel it is, and it's not. Um, there's also an overscan button here, and when the TV has been operating correctly, when I've turned the overscan on along the along the um, top here, you usually get like very top. You get blue, green, and red lines going across. Um, but now, since it's not working, if we turn the overscan on now, we get this white line at the top instead which is kind of like a collapse, well, I think they call it a vertical collapse screen, but usually that's running across the centre, but for some reason it's at the top here, I'm not sure what that refers to. Yesterday, there's a button here which is check blue, blue check, which when the TV's working properly, it changes the whole screen blue. And when I was picturing that yesterday, it was changing the bottom of that, white line blue, just the bottom section of it blue, but today it's not doing that for whatever reason, but the bottom of this line was kind of like blue, and it was, I'm pretty sure yesterday it's kind of segregated into four lines, but today it looks like it's a complete one big fat line, I'm pretty sure it was individual lines. Um, if you go in the back here, from the neck tube, it's really dull, the light emanating from it. And it's usually quite quite bright but it's not showing up perfectly on this phone but you can see it's a very dull glow coming from it and not light at all I don't know if that's because the screen at the front's not produced any light but if you look at the back here it's completely spotless in there it's like it's brand new so yeah I'm not sure what the issue is as I said I can hear the uh, when, it's, when I've got a console plugged in I can hear the game fine I'm just getting this white line at the top, which isn't visible if you turn the overscan off. It's only when you turn the overscan on that it appears, because it's at the top of the screen. So it's like a, kind of like a vertical collapse, but instead of the line being in the middle, it's right at the top of the screen. So I don't know if any of you guys know what that issue could be at all. If it's the IC chip failed, which is the same for vertical collapse. But as I said, it's at the top of the screen. So yeah, any help would be much appreciated. Just quickly, my ad. Um, right, there you go. That's better. See down there. Don't put my hand in there too much, but just there, down the bottom there, where the massive heat sink is. You can kind of see the. The IC chip mounted, screwed onto that massive heatsink. The black chip with about seven or eight legs in it. I believe that's the IC chip, which is I think it's these. Yeah, it'd be these pins here. Now they do they do they look dried out to you? Is it worth running solder over them to? To reflux them, let's turn the light off, see if that makes it any better. No, that's worse, you can't see it at all now. But yeah, yeah, it's these ones here. They look alright to me, to be fair, and I can't see. As I said, it's basically brand new inside here. Doesn't seem to be any issues at all. There's a bit of flux on there by the looks of it. Up here, 
don't think that's a cause of any problems which is just for the uh, that big pin plug socket there but yeah.